Today I would like to showcase a multi-item sorter where you are able to sort all stackable items in uh, Minecraft. So this uh, wall here is able to store up to 2000 different item types. Um, yeah, we have the input chest here on the left hand side and then uh, we have a lot of categories, uh, three rows and uh, yeah, let's just sort here maybe some stuff. So I put some snowballs, glass, cobblestone, and the diamond sort here into the input chest. And the system should start working. So we should get diamonds here, some cobble here, and so on. Um, yeah, so each of those categories um, is able to hold different item types. Um, as you can see here, for example, here we collected all the light blocks. Or here, for example, gold, copper, and... Uh, iron um, so this way you are able to uh, have a system um, or a module i would should say um, that can handle a lot of different item types this is just one module as i just said um, while this is running we can have a look on what you can do with it um, so this is now the exact same module that we have there here just duplicated so you have uh, this case we have um, two times the module so you can also, for example, arrange it like this if you want to. And then, for example, here you have the input chest and you just can funnel it here. So you have input here, for example, instead of putting it here. Um, very basic. You can, of course, as well put uh, three modules down, for example, in a, like a square pattern, for example, or something like this. Uh, that works as well. Yeah, depending on, on your needs. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, so the diamonds made it in. Not sure if the other items also made it in already. I think we had snowballs, they made it in, and glass, I think. Yeah, so glass is coming in right now. All right, so this is uh, the, the basic, uh, the principal stuff that is uh, not sorted. It's going to end up in the unsorted chest over here. Overflow and unsorted. If you build multiple modules, for example, then you would need to connect uh, the unsorted to the input of the other module. So this is the input of this module, while this is the output or overflow unsorted of this module. So we can very simply connect two modules if we want to by going here into the input of this side of this module and uh, connected like so. It's good to have a little bit of buffer if you decide to go for multiple um, modules in between so that the uh, that you don't have a backlog. For example, something like this. So I think here we have a torch. No, that should be okay. So this would be work and this way we can connect uh, two modules. In such a scenario where we have these over the corner, it's actually even a little bit easier. Uh, you can just connect it like this. So let's go back here to our system. I think I should have uh, put the render distance a little bit up. Yeah, so the cobblestone is sorted now as well. And I think we also put it in a sort, which just got sorted. So this ends up in the unsorted section. If you want to build um, such a module, it's important to note that um, these need to be chunk aligned. If you press F3 and G, you can see the chunks in the world. And uh, such a module needs to be inside uh, one of those chunks completely. You cannot have any chunk borders in between. Um, the items frames doesn't really matter, but uh, this first row here with the spruce um, and the rest of the contraption needs to be inside the same chunk. I did the same here as well. So just to show you that this is possible. In this case, for example, the contraption is pushed back a little bit in the chunk like that. And this contraption here is also inside one of the same chunk. And this way you can also assign it like that. So here in this case, we have each of these modules has its own chunk. For chunk aligned, it needs to be. Um, the other part, uh, what I want to say is that uh, I really, really recommend you to use Lightmatica for the build. Um, 
If you don't know what it is, uh, it's a tool basically where you can have holograms in the world and which help you to get you through block by block and layer by layer um, is really worth it. Um, especially also in such a bit more complex system, then uh, you are not at risk of uh, forgetting a block or maybe misplacing one uh, because Lightmatica will tell you. So yes, uh, Lightmatica I think is also an important feature. Then let's also have a quick chat about how the system is working and how you are able to tell the system and where to put which item. Uh, we call it here configuration. Um, I have made a little showcase here, like a very simplified version. It's not a new technology, but I will go through over it anyhow, because I don't know where you, so to say, coming from. Um, we have two sets of uh, chests. These are our normal storage chests, which you see in the front. And then we have in the back a set of configuration chests. And these are set up in a specific way. Um, as you can see here, they have certain blocker items, shears, and then the items that we want to sort. And um, generally it is, the more items are in a chest, uh, the higher the comparator signal output it is. And these chests are set up in a way that they are exactly at the tipping point of uh, one and two. So if I take out one item here, the uh, signal strength will drop and you can see the lamp in the background turning on. And if now, for example, the system wants to sort uh, white wool, it will send a minecart here through, which takes out this uh, block, which drops the signal strength, and then the system knows, ah, okay, I need to put the white wool here. It will put one back and put the rest in here into this section. The default uh, configuration is always that you have three unstackables and then 55 blockers. Um, you can have them like this, for example, here, five and then uh, all one, one, one. Um, this is the easiest. Um, and if you wanna then, for example, assign here food to this section, you come in and uh, just do it like that. And so you put in one item and take one blocker item out like that. And this would be sufficient for for the setup of, of food. If we now, for example, here want to sort potatoes, the system will know what to do and uh, it will put back the potato and then the potatoes in here. Now there's one caveat. So if you want to assign um, to make these categories, there are 16 stackables and these uh, stackables, for example, they contribute more to the signal strength than a single item here. So these are actually contributing 64 times the amount than this one. And this uh, honey bottle is contributing four times the amount. So for example, now for um, when you do one by one, like, like normal items, you would need to take out four items for an unstackable, like that four items taken out. And this way you can always test it. If you just take out a single blocker item, you see this flickering. And that means um, you are perfectly set up with this configuration chest. So this is not correctly set up. Let's also have a look on how the system configuration is done here. We have in the module a maintenance hatch, where you can go down and uh, come in here to turn off the system first. And then also the uh, gate normally opens either immediately or up to 30 seconds or so it may take. And it's really, really important as well to wait for the shutdown of the system um, so that there are no minecarts or items going while we do configuration changes. So it's very important. Um, yeah, so then you have the, each of those is a corresponding category on the other side. And uh, here we have food, so I could also, or we could also put in here some more item frames, for example, for indication. And if we want to do the same, uh, we want to assign here the potato to the food section. We just take out one filter item. Then we have here an option to return, and we should do that, return these uh, blocker or configuration items. Then we can turn on the system again. 
and um, also start sorting here some potatoes. While this is ongoing, um, regardless of how experienced you are with such a configuration, at some point of time, you may be doing a mistake. Well, at least I have been doing a lot of mistakes in the past, and uh, I can imagine maybe someone else will be in the same situation as well. So um, let's get all those things out of the way. Uh, there are three things that can happen. Um, under configuration, that you have too little items in the configuration chest. Over configuration, that you have too many in a chest. Or uh, what I call a double assignment, uh, that you have assigned an item to multiple categories, which is kind of illegal. So I haven't said it yet, but uh, yes, an item can only be assigned to one group and not to multiples. Okay, so let's um, have a look first if the potatoes are coming in here. Yep, the potatoes came in here. So the sorting is working. So let's start with under configuration. That is the simplest one. So if you come here through the maintenance hatch, and if you any chest, if you let's say here the planks, um, and you forget to correctly set it up. I took now an item out and it's not correctly set up anymore. And if you come back, you will see that this gate is closed, which should be an alarm signal for you that uh, the change that you just did is probably not good. So back to the drawing board. Um, so where was it? Somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, it is. You can also see that this lamp is off um, in the background. And uh, if I now put it in, the lamp will turn on. So this is now also the sweet spot that we want to be. So whenever an item is taken out, the lamp should turn off. If it's correct, also you hear the fence gate in the background. So when you are unsure if a chest is correctly set up, listen, um, you should hear the fence gate cracking. And then you are know that you are in the sweet spot and uh, this is now also correct. This way we have already the first problem out of the way. So let's set up the system again and um, let's start sorting here some iron bars. So I did a mistake in the configuration just also as a showcase. Um, I did an under configuration here. Um, so normally iron bars should be coming in here. So this is from a previous test so they don't don't count. And I'm sorting now iron bars. And uh, yeah, it's a classical scenario where not enough items were put in the configuration chest. And um, yeah, we will see a mistake. And the mistake is that this category seems to be not working correctly. So we're getting the items here in the overflow chest. And this is a signal to for us to double check what did we do wrong. And uh, we go up here. Um, here's the iron section and uh, yeah, iron bar should be here but this chest is not correctly set up and you will see it by if I take out one item the torch in the back will not blink and you also can't hear the fence gate. So what happened here is I should have taken out more items because this is a 16 stackable. I took only out one item but I should have taken out four and now I take out three more and uh, it's now in the sweet spot, which we can tell by just flicking like this. And now we know it's correct. We go back. It's also good always to return these configuration and blocker items here that we never sort them. We turn off the system, turn on, and then we sort our iron bars. We can also sort now, and this is the last mistake, also we just want to show you what happens, uh, is uh, golden apples. Um, I will sort those. And I did the mistake that I assigned them here as an example to this group, to the vegetables and fruit section, but I also assigned golden apples to the food section. So it's a double assignment. And um, yeah, we shall see how the system reacts. Yeah, so all our three iron bars now came correctly in here. That's good. So how we would detect that the uh, golden apples are 
um, incorrect, it's a bit more difficult. Um, so the golden apples were sorted, but at some point of time, um, we will see a backlog coming here because the system has stopped working um, because it's an incorrect state of configuration chest. And uh, so you, if you see this, uh, if you think that the system is not proceeding, uh, which you can hear by the chest card not moving or trapdoors in the background not acting, or just by over time that like you, you see a little bit of a backlog here, then you know that uh, it was probably a double configuration mistake. And you would go here, turn the system off. Now the difficulty here in this particular case is that this door will not open. Um, the system is trying to shut down, but it can't because uh, one chest is kind of having a hole, <laughs> so to say. It's, uh, it's, it's not getting complete again, so we have to open it manually. In this one case, only this one case, and um, let's have a look at the category here. I don't just know where it is. Yeah, I found it right away. Perfect. So here was a golden apple inside, um, and it was taken out. And um, yeah, so this is a double assignment error. If you don't know where to check, you can as well here always have a look as well here along these lines and see if you see a mistake. There's one torch off, for example. If you have no idea on where to check, right, you can always try to here peek through here these uh, hoppers a little bit, and, and then you should be able to correct it as well. All right, so now we see that this chest is not correctly set up, so we put in here one, uh, one more blocker item, renamed. Now we see that the torch in the background is flickering, we hear the fence gate, we know it's now correct. And also this is now closed. Um, we can return these items here. Turn the system back on. Close the maintenance hatch. You know the drill. And from now on, only this section will handle golden apples and then the rest is um, is fine. Um, also the system would now resume, if it hasn't done already, would resume um, operation and continue on sorting your stuff. Yeah, so here the items come in and uh, it's a small interruption. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sure you will get a hang of it, of these configuration things, um, and uh, it, it's really not that difficult um, after a little bit of experience with it. And um, yeah, it's in a system that can handle a lot of different item types for you, and uh, I hope uh, this can be something for you. Maybe just one final word. Um, Obviously, I will provide the Lightmatic and the world download um, in the description below, um, as well as in the storage tech um, Discord. So yeah, yeah, feel free to have a look. Um, feel free to uh, ping me with questions, um, especially on Discord, anything. If you have a question regarding the system or a trouble or whatever it is, really, then uh, yeah, just ping me and I'll see how, how I can help. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,